Good evening, everybody. If you read the description, the first 45 seconds I was showing off the awesome things that Donnie sent to me. If you don't catch it in the first 45, you got to wait till the end of the stream. And look at that. Donnie's first to catch a sneak peek. Look at this stuff, man. Never seen it before. Oh, we got a few more, few more folks. Ten seconds before the camera gets turned around. You guys all have to wait till the end of the stream to see these again. And that is all. If you saw, you saw. If you missed it, you got to wait till the end. Welcome, welcome everybody. Let's see, we got Cherry, we got Donnie and Jim and Stephanie. How is everybody doing tonight? I know it is late in the week for a stream of Kraken Geodes, but the wife and I needed a little getaway, so we escaped to a beautiful cabin down in southern Indiana. Let's get cracking. Joel, my man, how you doing? What's up, Avery and Cherry? How are you guys? Hello, Stephanie. How's everybody doing tonight? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So aside from what, what's going on, Jim? Break my rocks. Yes, that's what we got lined up for tonight. Um, aside from Jim, who, when I was down in Indiana, I met up with him and he collected some geos for me. So shout out to Jim for making this stream awesome and making the next couple streams have some cool things. Howdy, howdy, Donnie. <clears throat> and we also had Grace sent me some geodes from Kentucky as well. So half of the geodes we're cracking tonight are from Indiana and half of them are from Kentucky. And we've got the third installment of the Paisley Pick, the new segment I'm doing where my daughter picks out a geode. Good evening, Peggy. How you doing tonight? All right, and we will get right into it. I find my glasses and this first geode is from Kentucky down at the end of the month sounds good man hopefully some of that snow is gone they just got smacked with snow while we were there we were not expecting it, it made it fun trying to get it in and out of the the driveway of our cabin but this one is the Paisley Pick, and this one is from Kentucky, and we're going to start off tonight with the Paisley Pick. It's very round, more round than I'm used to. Not a lot of geos like this in Indiana, but like I said, it depends on where you go. <clears throat> and if you're new to the show, first of all, thanks for tuning in. I do this every week. <clears throat> I'm also starting up doing streams of polishing some of the things I crack open or cut and things like that. Uh, this week I'm not going to do a stream of polishing because that would have been tonight. And last time I did a polishing stream on Friday, it didn't do too well. So um, maybe I'll do it on Saturday. If not, I'll wait till next week. Huh? I know. I know it's, that's what I'm saying. I normally would do it, the polishing stream tonight. But since I'm doing a cracking one, I don't want to do the polishing stream on Friday because the last one I did Friday didn't do too well. So, no polishing this week, but next week there will be. What is up, John? Gabby's watching, and Mayra, how are you guys doing? It is going good, John. We had an awesome few days up at that cabin, or down at that cabin, I should say. Really, really awesome. It was called the Adventure Adventure Wood, if anybody's curious. <clears throat> but really nice. Brought back memories of our honeymoon we took down in Tennessee in Pigeon Forge. We stayed at a cabin. This one is actually a little bit nicer, in my opinion. All right. So here we are, guys. This is the... First geode of the night, for those just tuning in, welcome to the stream. I do this every week. My name is Tyler. I collect geodes out in southern Indiana. I've got a lot of them. 
if you can tell. <laughs> and this device here is called a soil pipe cutter. For those that are curious, one can be acquired on eBay for much, much cheaper than buying a brand new one. eBay, Facebook Marketplace, they're out there. But this is the tool I like to use for cracking open geos. So here we are with the first one, the Paisley Pick. Oh! And look at that. The reason why it was so round and so light is because it's not a geode at all. That's a little disappointing. It's just a big old ball of clay or a limestone nodule. That's all right. Sometimes it happens. The joys of live entertainment. But yeah, there will not be any, any crystals in that one. But that's all right. Moving on, we do have a couple Rattlers, so BlackRock today, I brought it all the way home just to find out that was a piece of dog shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. I, I hope you weren't holding it in your hand or in your pocket. Yeah, down in single digits and calling for 7 to 12 inches of snow in Texas. Are you kidding? That is, that's ridiculous, man. Cody, welcome to the show. Geode number two. The first geode was not. Um, it is called a soil pipe cutter. A chain soil pipe cutter. There's a couple different varieties of them. The one I use, the brand is Wheeler Rex, um, but a soil pipe cutter. Uh, geode number two is from Indiana, and I don't know if you can hear it over the heater, but this one rattles a little bit, so... Man, I'm, I'm sorry to hear you uh, You brought that thing all the way home with you, Jason. And, uh, <laughs> sorry for laughing, but that's a little funny. <laughs> um, and for everybody that is curious about this device that I use, um, I don't typically go into too much detail about how I crack it and things like that during the stream because I want to keep them shorter and to the point of breaking open the geodes. But I am on YouTube. Um, if anybody doesn't mind sharing the link to my page, I am planning to have a video put together and up by Monday that is going to be a tutorial on how to crack open a geode specifically with this type of pipe cutter. And there's also going to be an instructional video I'm going to make. I know I did a stream showing you guys how to crack them open with a hammer and chisel. I'm going to make a video so it's going to be a little bit easier, not quite as long, um, and more straight to the point. So if you guys are already subscribed to YouTube, keep an eye out for that. If not, check it out. Uh, my channel is called The Geo Cracker and Collector, or GCC. All right, but here we are with Geo number two, guys. All right. Wow. Oh, man. This one was an Indiana geode. Now, I don't find a whole lot of calcite, but get on first shift so I can watch you in comfort and I'm when I'm heading into work. Yeah, fix that, man. So I don't normally find a lot of calcite, but this calcite is pretty crazy. Look at the size of that chunk of calcite. And if you're new to the show, haven't seen it before, at the end of the show, I always turn around my camera so that we can do a recap and see everything up close. And I also shut the lights off and I hit everything with my shortwave UV light. So we will definitely see, I would guess probably pink from this calcite, pink or orange. Negative 21 here. Where, hold on. Hold on, I missed that comment. Where in the world are you at that is negative? Sadie, where, where are you watching from? That is crazy. Negative 21 here with the wind chill. It's negative 51. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, here we are. I'll show this to you guys again. Pretty crazy. Check this out. All right, 
So the first geode we cracked wasn't a geode at all. Just a little clay ball or limestone nodule. But the second one was really nice. Montana, oof. That is, remind me not to move to Montana because I don't want to deal with negative 21 and a negative 51 wind chill. I mean, I lived in Minnesota for nine months and it was not, not fun. All I did was work. Didn't even get to go collect any agates or nothing. All right, we're gonna do, we're on a roll with the, uh, these Indiana ones, so we got another big one here. Doesn't rattle. Yeah, 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 that was a long time ago. I did want to move to Alaska. But see, Alaska's beautiful. I don't, I don't know how gorgeous it is in South Dakota or wherever it was she said she was from. Montana. Montana, that's what it was, Montana. <clears throat> oh, too cold. I'm gonna chill just thinking about it. I definitely was doing this the wrong way. include a question of the night. Hmm. It is absolutely beautiful. Well, that's right. Montana does have some, some beautiful things. I might I might endure that cold to be able to collect some awesome things you guys have out there. Ooh, all right. Question tonight. What is everybody's favorite food? That's what I want to know. Like, hands down, could eat it every day, never get sick of it. Favorite food. Because I'm curious, I know this is a stream about rocks, but then it gives us all something to talk about in the meantime while I struggle. Oh, let's see, take these off. Gumbo, ooh. I've never had some like genuine gumbo. Oh yeah. Edibles. <laughs> Taco, ooh, tacos are good. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Gabby, really chicken nuggets. How old are we? <laughs> I love you Gabby, me too. I think mine Pork loin seasoned perfection by me. I can make, ooh. Next time we go collecting, Jim, you better make up some gumbo, man. That sounds delicious. Pork loin is really good. I think I would have to choose something seafood or cheeseburgers. I could always, I could eat a cheeseburger every day. All right, geo number three, guys. Another one from Indiana, a bigger one. Hopefully it's not solid, but we will see. What is going on? Jim! Jim, Jim, Jim. What in tarnation, man? Dude, we're going to your creek. Because holy calcite, Batman! Look at the chunk in that! Oh, my Lanta. Breakfast food. Breakfast food is pretty good. Yeah, look at the calcite in this. We're two for two with the calcite with the geodes I got from Jim. Yeah, look at... Oh, my word. I can't wait to hit this with the UV light. Yeah, two for two with the awesome calcites. I'm excited for the wrap up to see those under the UV. And if anybody's curious, calcite, not all calcite though. 
Majority of calcite will react to short wave and long wave UV light, not just a regular black light. Um, mine is a 365 nm uh, short wave light. So certain minerals will react. So that's why I'm excited because I've only ever found one geo that had calcite in it that I confirmed was calcite that did not glow. All the rest glows. So, all right. We're going to take a break from the, uh, the Indiana ones. We're going to crack one of the Kentucky ones. This one I'm curious about. It's got a little bit of a different structure, so it makes me a little worried that it might be solid, but we see some crystal here. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's loaded with calcite, man. <clears throat> definitely seems like it. All right, on with the show. I really enjoy these geos from Kentucky, too. I'm excited because this is the first actual geo from the ones that uh, Grace sent me. Because the first one we tried was just a little clay ball. A limestone, not a... I'm, I'm going to readjust it so everybody can see here in a second. All right, on to geo number four of the night, guys. All right, so it's putting up a fight, so it's probably solid, but we'll see. Yeah, mostly solid. But it's pretty cool, you can see. I don't know, this one I might try to polish up. If you can kind of see, there's like a triangle of white that's maybe calcite. We'll find out when we hit it with the UV that surrounds that pocket. There's definitely some chalcedony going on. Maybe some agony goodness. So this one's cool. It's got two, looks like two cavities. All right, I like it. Even though it's a little solid, I still like it. Okay, we're gonna save a big one for the end, but all right. I'll be in after I'm done. Bye, wife. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Amber and Brandy. How's everybody doing? We're having a good show so far. Everybody just tuning in. We've cracked four geodes so far. First one actually was not a geode. It was just a nodule. Uh... Check this one out. This was the second one we cracked. Had some nice, pretty quartz down there. It's pretty milky, but really nice jersey, and we got beautiful calcite there. And moving on quickly, just to recap, since we've only done a few. <clears throat> this was geo number two, and on a roll with this calcite, guys. Look at the whopping chunk of calcite in there. Holly in the house. I'm so glad you're able to catch the show. I know you had to work or you are working, but look at the calcite in that. Holy moly, moly, moly. That was geode number three we cracked, guys. And then this was geode number four. A smaller cavity, but still pretty cool. All right. Did somebody say, what's up, madre? Is my mom watching? Or was that to, to my wife? No. Hello, hello. How is everybody doing tonight? All right. So, oh, here it is. Yeah, I already had one. I was like, wait a second. So there's this big one from Indiana. And listen to this.
That means it's hollow, guys. And it's a big one. So this one, it's like another turtle. Another turtle shell. So this one, I think I'm gonna try and crack this way since I got a pretty, pretty wide surface here. So, so hopefully give us a nice big face to open up. So this one might take me a minute, guys, but normally if it takes a little bit, it's worth it. Yeah. And for those curious, you're not supposed to beat on your chain pipe cutter with a hammer, but story goes, my brother bought this for me. This thing is older than I am, and this chain is original, and I'm just gonna beat on it until it finally gives way. And I wanna see how long that's gonna take, because I'm gonna keep doing this, and I'm gonna keep beating the snot out of this thing. So I'm gonna really put it to the test. But I do that because these are designed to snap pipe. You know, this constant pressure around it gives you a nice even break when used properly, you know, when you're breaking pipe. That is a cleaner cut than you would get if you were cutting it with a, a power tool. So that's why they use it. But when you use it for geodes, what happens is parts will kind of fly off and break off and go flying everywhere. So the metal in between the actual blade portion of the chain that actually cuts will get all chewed up. So I will just smack it in place. Oh, what up, Aaron? My man, my man. Got a nice big one here. We're about to crack open and it's a rattler. So I'm excited. I think it's gonna be nice. I see some sparkle on the rind of the geode, which sometimes is a little bit of a clue to what's inside. So, without further ado, we're hoping for some really pretty quartz here. Now this is from the creek where the last two we've cracked from this creek had calcite. So if this one has calcite, I'm gonna be really happy. It's full of calcite again. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at, look at the calcite in this one, guys. <laughs> I can't even right now. Three for three. All three geodes so far have had calcite. And look at the monstrous chunk on this one. Holy calcite, guys. I am so excited to check these out with the UV light. This one kind of, this chunk was here and there was another part that went here. So it was a little more full, but I like that it broke there because... Yes, Jim, you did very good. Very good, Jim. And like, I can't even... And there's so many just big chunks that came out of that last one too. That are just really pretty. Oh yeah. Mother Nature at her finest, that is for sure. I don't know about you guys. I crack a lot of geodes. I sometimes will have bits that fall out like this. So I've got just mason jars. One that I put double terminated quartz in. One that I put milky quartz in. One that I put barite. One that I put calcite. Yeah, just just cuss. Just cuss. Just cuss. You know, even though it fell out of the geode and the geode's going to be the main thing I look at, I still don't want to get rid of that beautiful minerals that's in there 
But man, three for three with the calcite. Man, oh man. All right, switch it up. We got a little guy. This one here is from, this one here is from Kentucky. So guys, what I, what I want to do is with my YouTube channel, once I get to, my goal is with that is to get to a thousand subscribers because, <clears throat> ooh, I might do that, Gabby. When I get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'm able to live stream there as well. So my plan is to be able to live stream on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously because I'll be soon acquiring a laptop that's going to really help me with, with this stream and things are going oh, to get so awesome, guys. But my plan is to get to 1,000 subs so I can be able to stream on both platforms. So right now I'm sitting at around 70. Once I get to 150 subscribers on YouTube, anybody who's subscribed is going to get their name put into a random drawing and I'm going to do a giveaway. And I've got some really, really awesome things. So, one of those things is going to be one of these really awesome chunks of calcite. And I've got some really other, some other really awesome things too. So, if you guys enjoy, I, I rebroadcast. All, pretty much all that's on YouTube is all these streams. I just repost them over there. Um, and a couple extra things. So, you're getting pretty much the same content, but it's a little different. But, without further ado, we're doing, like I said, this little geode here. This one came from... Oh, just wait. Yeah, I, I, the first 45 seconds, I, I showed the table. I got it all set up with everything that Donnie sent me. So anybody that caught the first 45 seconds of the stream, they got a sneak peek. Everybody else has got to wait. So that's why I'm trying to go through this really quick because I keep looking over at this table and guys, so awesome. And I think, I think if I can get the approval from Donnie, that uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers, whenever that happens, once I reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna one of my parts of the giveaway is gonna be one of the things from that table, I think, because those are some really, really awesome things. I already said in the description, there's some awesome ammonites, guys. Really awesome that Donnie collected down in Texas. I'm still doing a little bit of research so I can learn exactly what they are. Uh, it's just been a busy day. It's always busy the day, the day after uh, getting back from a little vacation, even if it is just a few days. <laughs> but that's my plan. Is uh, everybody asks what I do with all these geodes and things like that? I'm gonna I'm gonna start giving them away. That's that's what I want to do. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Geo number six tonight, guys. Let's see what we've got. It's a little one from Kentucky. Yes, I just licked the rock. <laughs> but, if I am not mistaken, this has got some really, really pretty, look at the agate in that, guys. Uh, Geode Cracker and Collector is the name of my channel. Um, if it's not working right now, I, uh, I'll post up the link. I'll share it in the comments after I end the video. But look at the key. Oh, agate is my favorite, guys. Yeah, sometimes you gotta lick the rocks, guys. Sometimes you gotta. You know, I have a little squirt bottle that I use, but it's been too cold. It's over on my desk and it's frozen, so. But yeah, look at that. Look at the red hiding in there. I can't wait to polish it. This is gonna be definitely one. Catch me next week, guys. Next week, Thursday, one week from today. It's gonna be the second installment of my polishing. I just got. Sponsored by High Tech Diamond. I recently acquired one of the machines and it is fantastic. I love it and I'm streaming every week with that too. It's been a little funky these last two weeks, but next week it's going to be consistent. Um, and you guys are going to see what's, what's in store, what's underneath. Um, just really quick because I got this right here. Uh, one of the geodes that I polished was one that I had cracked. So this was the, the side that was cracked. So this one I did not polish, as you can see. 
and this is the side, same geo that I did polish. And you can see it did have a little bit of a chunk of calcite there. But yeah, this, this one here I polished on stream and with a few other pieces. But yeah, this is side by side. So pretty big difference. <clears throat> um, all right, let me see, slow down here. Is the red iron oxide or hematite? Iron oxide. Um, very seldomly will I find it to the point where I'd consider it hematite. Um, I do have one piece, let me grab, um, that I lean more towards calling it hematite opposed to iron oxide. Just because of the saturation of the red, it is cold, so it is a little bit dull. But this one here, I consider more hematite. But some of the color is underneath the crystal structure and some of it is just a coating on top. But nothing like you would see like in Thunder Bay Amethyst, you know, it's, it's not hematite to that extent. That The hematite that I encounter is more secondaries, little, um, little mineral growths that are microscopic that I normally can see if I'm looking with my, my little loop. Um, all right, you got one more little Kentucky Geo, guys, and then I've got three more from Indiana. So we're going to see if... After this one, we're going to see if we can't get a six for six on the calcite as a secondary in, in these geodes. <clears throat> All right, guys. <clears throat> Here we are. But yeah, that red one, that, uh, that red geode that I just showed you guys, um, on my YouTube, I've actually got a video that I do some, some really nice close-ups of that geode and the other half of it. And those reds are definitely more apparent. Like I said, it, it sits out in the garage and it's cold. And I don't know if it's an actual proven thing, but my geodes and things like that, if I, they sit out here, they just look dull. And when I bring them inside and it's warm and humid, they look, the colors look much more saturated. All right, well, like I said, this geode here is another one from Kentucky. So I'm excited. Maybe we'll have some more agate in it. Ugh. Oh, dang street races. <laughs> Zooming by. All right, guys. So far, we've had some really awesome geodes we've cracked tonight. A lot of calcite. We got a little bit of Kentucky agate. And we're hoping for some more agate in this one. All right. That's how we feel. Just want to throw it at us. So, not seeing any agate really, or chalcedony for that matter, but really you have an interesting growth of quartz there. Hey, Connie, how you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Do you ever oxalate? Uh, no, I, yes, I use the powdered iron out, so I'm not sure if that technically has oxalic acid. I believe it's just the liquid iron out that contains oxid, oxic acid, ox, oxalic acid, but tongue twister, <laughs> but I use iron out. That's, that's what I'll, I'll use if I'm ever cleaning the iron deposits off of these. And I do not use a vibrating, uh, polisher. I do use a... Um, it's the eight inch all you need flat lap from high tech diamond. So I use that and I've got a series of different pads that I'll use. The first one is a lapidary pad. That's 180 grit. And then it goes up to 600, 15, 3000. And then the last step is a buffing pad with like a 14,000 mesh diamond paste. So works really well. I don't know if you saw, but this is, this is the one piece I did. One of the pieces I did the last time I streamed it. I'm still going to get one more of the lapidary pads um like a lower grit like an 80 grit i think just to get out some of those more deeper cuts and grooves and things like that um but other than that i, I love it it's super quiet um those streams i'm actually down in my basement when i do those so it's much more comfortable it's warm but yeah i definitely uh 
I definitely recommend the brand to anybody, especially beginners, because it's really, really easy to, to work with. You know, they make it pretty self-explanatory with setting up the colors for the pads and different things like that. Um, and it's a really great company. It's a Chicago-based company, too. And I'm from Chicago, born and raised. And it's, it's awesome. So it's really cool to, to use some equipment that's from the hometown and to be endorsed by a company that's hometown is pretty cool, too. Or not endorsed, sponsored. And here we are. This is another, uh, I would call it a fried egg because this looks kind of like the center or UFOs they're called, depending on where you go. <laughs> hey, no problem. That's, that's why I enjoy doing the live streams. That's, that's why I do it is because it's so much easier to ask a question while I'm doing this than asking a question in the comments and then I have to wait to see it later on. And it's easy to, to lose somebody's comment or question and ask away. That is why I do this. I'm still learning too. I've got some people that ask me questions that are way above my pay grade and my knowledge. And I, I will research and learn and try and help everybody else. But I'm, I'm not educated aside from the research I do on my own and, and the learning I do on my own. <clears throat> But that's, that's how we learn, by asking questions and breaking, breaking things open. You know, dropping geodes on your boots, smashing your toes, no big deal. And another joy of the live stream, live entertainment, you know. I don't get to go and edit that out. Everybody just saw me drop a geode on my toe. You know, and there's, there's a stream out there that uh, everybody saw me struggle like a fat kid for like 10 minutes trying to break open a geo. And I gave up, and everybody talked me up, and they were like, no, keep going, keep going. And we finally got it, but that's the kind of interaction you don't get just throwing up a video on YouTube, you know. Not that I don't enjoy doing that, but I, I love this so much more. So I know when I talked about going on YouTube and everything like that, some folks... We're worried that I was going to go straight to YouTube and only YouTube, but that's, that's not how it is. I'm not in it to be famous or make money or... I, I, I like sharing and learning with everybody. Because growing up, I was a weird kid for liking rocks. And now I'm, I'm a grown-ass man, and I realize there's other grown-ass men and women that enjoy rocks too, and I can be friends with them. So, I remember you, Benjamin, third grade. Punched me in the stomach at recess because I had some rocks in my pocket. And then he ran away and I threw a rock at the back of his head. Look where, look where I am now, Benjamin. <laughs> hey guys, can you guess what's in here? No, 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 not that, Benjamin. Can you guys guess what's in this geo? I'll give you a hint. It, it rhymes with balsite. More calcite, guys. We're on four for four on these geodes having calcite in them. That just goes to show Indiana, if you've ever collected there, shout out North Carolina, Susanna in the house. How are you doing tonight? But it just goes to show there are different locations you can go that will have a certain, I don't know the term for it. There, there's just more present minerals like Jim's got this creek that he gave me these from. Obviously, there's a lot of calcite in this creek. I've got creeks where I can go and I can pick up and two out of the three geodes I can pick up and break open will have barite. And then I've got some that I can go to and most of them I'll pick up will have gothite. So it's just... Where they grow, too, also is a factor on what is inside. So it's not just what seeps in, you know, it's the environment also plays, plays a part. You know, and also, too, another thing from, ooh, shout out Arizona. Ooh, write a book. I like that. That's a good idea. I might do that. 
But, um... Ah, now I lost what I was saying. I'm sorry. Man, I'm, I'm upset. I lost what I was saying. <laughs> Let's see. Watch from Arizona. North Carolina. In Vermont. I am not too sure. I will, I will do a little bit of research for you, and we will find out together if we can find it in Vermont. All right, here we go. I've got two geodes left tonight, guys. That big guy right there, and we've got this guy. <laughs> Shut up, Jim. So we've got this one here. Oh, yeah. I was wondering when you were going to notice. Yes, sir. I threw him back in. I did. I did. I was cleaning up the room, and I found all my softies, and I was like, oh, woo, getting back on the gauge train. Check this one out, guys. I already know. That's a big rattle. This is going to have calcite in it. I'm calling it now. I, when I picked this geode up earlier, like I said, if you've seen the stream or you know me, I cracked a lot of geodes in my life. I got, I got a lot of geodes. <laughs> you know. So I've learned uh, to be able to tell different things based on sounds and weight and things like that. But yes, this will definitely have some, some calcite in it. Because I can hear a big chunk in there rattling around. You know, it's like the difference in sound of shaking, shaking a bottle that's full of marbles opposed to shaking a bottle that's full of salt, you know. This, is, this has got some big, big noises in there. So I'm hoping it's not too broken up. But if that is the case, then we're going to be five for five on calcite in the geodes. And if that big one has calcite in it, then I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to be so... So blown away because it's just really cool. Let me drop it down some. Everybody just tuning in. Thanks for catching the show, guys. This is one of the last two geodes I'm cracking open tonight. We are expecting some calcite in this one. We've already had calcite in all other geodes we've had from Indiana, that is. The three from Kentucky were not containing calcite, but this one does. So, without further ado, There we have it. And that is right. Just as suspected, it has got some calcite, but it's also got some really pretty quartz, too. This calcite in this one has started to decay. And I'm curious we've no if you noticed, the exteriors of all the geodes I've cracked open so far have been lighter. This one's darker. So I wonder if darker means it's been in different conditions that makes it, you know. Yeah, this one's dusty for sure. But like I said, this one is, it'll clean up really nice, really sparkly. But the calcite that is left in there is pretty decayed. And by decayed, I mean you can see just the edges of it there. Maybe it's just dirty, but you can see how brittle and crumbly it is opposed to this nice, pretty, clean chunk of calcite. So if anybody's ever talking about a decayed mineral, they're, they're literally talking about it like rotting away. I'm not too sure what causes all that. I know it's a thing that happens, but science, science behind it, nope. Don't have that knowledge yet. But that little bit right there is calcite. So is that. So we are five for five. It could be from age. Now, that, that's, that's a very good possibility. These geodes where, we, where uh, I collect and where Jim collects, that, that area of Indiana is so complex, geologically speaking. If you look at a geological map, it is such a big cluster of different formations and things like that, that there's so many different eras you can pull from in different parts of, parts of the state, which you know is not uncommon anywhere. But majority of these geodes that I'm, I find and Jim finds are between 350 and 320 million years old. So, very well could be from age. 
All right, guys. Last, but certainly not least, we've got this big guy. He does have some weight to it, though. Um, and I do notice some, some symmetry here. Maybe a little bit hard to see because of the flash. Let me, let me try and try and get it here. Okay. So what 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 shape do you guys see here? So we've got five points. One, two, three, four, five. So odds are this is something crinoid related. Crinoids are one of the or are the only thing that I know of that have that five point symmetry, because the way in the nature that geodes form. Odds of it being symmetrical like this, of the five points like that, are very, very slim. So there's a good ch chance that this was something. It could have been a brachiopod too. You know, that's that's a good chance as well. So this one's going to be hard to try and crack this way. So I'm just going to go straight down the middle. But like I said, it does feel pretty hefty. But it could just be filled completely with calcite. So, we are on to the last geo, guys. But do not run away from the stream super quick. We're going to go, and I'm going to show you guys all these turned around with camera that is a little bit better on the back side of my phone. We'll shut the lights off. We'll check out this awesome calcite with the UV light. And then I've got some super awesome ammonites to show you guys that my man Donnie sent to me. He collected them all in Texas. And I, I almost cried. When, when I was opening these boxes because they're just, I don't have words. I'm not even, if you were in the first 45 seconds and you got a peek, you know. If not, give it like five minutes and you guys are going to see and, and you'll understand why I did not have words. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now there is a little tiny hole in here and I can see there is a cavity. So, that does make me a little bit more hopeful, but at the same time, you never know until you try, so I don't want to get my hopes up. Son of a monkey! These big ones are harder to, to keep the chain in a line while I set it over it. These are the instances where an extra set of hands come in handy, but... I'm not really able to make it. All righty. The last monstrous geode. Last monstrous geode of the night, and we are hoping for a perfect score with six for six of these geodes containing calcite from Indiana. Can we do it? Woo! This one's gonna make me work for it. I already know. Does it have calcite? I don't think it does. That's okay. I'm just glad it wasn't completely solid. It's going to have actually some decent sized crystal or some quartz points in there. It's a little, a little caked in with dirt. But that one's really pretty, guys. Really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, so look at if you guys see how I said, I had noticed a little bit of a hole. So that hole actually led down this little itty bitty cavity in here that led to this bigger cavity. So that's how this was able to fill with this, this dirt and soot and whatever. This is all just creek crud. So some people are curious, oh, is that ancient mud? Is that blah, blah, blah? And sometimes, but honestly, most of the time, it's just a little itty bitty cavity or somehow, some way, something got in there. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. He definitely looks like a star right there. Super cool. Kind of re reassures my suspicions there. All right, give me a quick second here, guys. I'm going to get this all turned around and set up so I can shut this light off. Hit it with the UV and then get over to that table with all the goodies. Or workbench, I should say. Stand by. The last time somebody got scared, I'm about to turn the lights off. There's still a flashlight on my camera. It won't be completely dark. Do not be afraid. Please. It's okay. All right. And for those curious, before I turn the lights off, this is the light that I use on Amazon. This one goes for about $25. There is another version that is just five watts. That is $20. I recommend the 10 watt just lasts a little bit longer. Shut up, Jim. All right. Let me turn this super bright light around really quick. Oh, oh, now it's really dark. Not what I was trying for. Sorry, guys. Just a moment. Just a moment. Okay, dokie. Here, we'll start off with... This was one of the uh, Kentucky ones. This is the one I'm curious to see under the, the UV light because I think this white here, it kind of borders around on three sides, kind of like a triangle. I think that's going to be calcite. If not, it's chalcedony in there, which is still pretty cool. So that was one from... Uh, from Kentucky. Then we move on to this monstrous chunk with some calcite. This monstrous chunk with some calcite. This one's a little bit lighter calcite too. This is the calcite that's been a little bit decayed. As you can see, it still has some of the sheen to it, depending on what side you're looking at. But Then we've got really, really pretty up here. I love this one. And you can still see some of the druzy. It's not completely enveloped with the calcite. Really, really gorgeous. Same thing, this is the other side of it. Really pretty one. One of my favorites. I think that's my in my top two of the night. That's for sure. This one I think is my number one. Just because of how big and chunky it is. So awesome. Mike, welcome to the show, my friend. We are doing this quick little recap here. We're about to cut the lights out and check out all this beautiful calcite. Five out of the six geos we cracked tonight from Indiana contain calcite. We've got this one here that I'm going to get a little wet to help see things. Thankful for this little bit of a puddle here. And then we're going to try and zoom in so you guys can see. This one is from Kentucky, and this one has got some agate in it. Check that out. My apologies. It's not the greatest setup for seeing things, especially having the flash on and this being wet. But it does help a little bit. Going to be a really exciting one to get polished up. And then I'm going to zoom back out here a little bit. And this was the last geode we cracked. So we can see, like I said, it's pretty dirty. But some really nice, pretty big points in there of quartz. And same thing on this side. Some really nice, nice points. All right. The moment I've been excited for. Again, my apologies. The lights are about to go out so we can see these under the UV light, guys. But it will be worth it, I promise. And holy cow. All right, so starting off with this one over here. And again, ignore the orange flex that is just the paint from my uh, soil pipe cutter. But look at that, guys. That's just one chunk. There's the other part of it. That was the lighter one. 
then we got that one up there with its counterpart. And that yellow in the rind is also calcite. This is the really pretty one that has, ooh, that's got some, you see that blue in there is also going to be hyalite, which is water opal. Those yellow specks are also calcite, like I said. This is the, the one that's on screen right now. That is the one that has the druzy quartz. So that little pocket down on the bottom left-hand side with that little speck of blue, that is that druzy quartz. And that highlight opal, water opal is what grows on that druzy. So this one is really cool because it's actually got some pink and purple in it along with the yellow. And this is the one I was excited for. This is the really big guy. I need to charge up my battery in this thing. Super awesome. And then, yeah, that's that's definitely some creek scum there in that bigger geode. <clears throat> but, yeah, there we are, guys. Those are pretty awesome. And let me get this turned around. Oh, nope, that should stay on. Get this back on. Here we are. Sorry, guys. Let me get those off. I'm not cracking any more geodes. Walk back over here. Turn these lights on. And we are going to check out these sick, sick ammonites that Donnie sent me. And it's not just ammonites. I got a couple other things. Some coquina. Coquina. Uh, just clusters of shell. And you guys will also notice, too, on my workbench here that I've shown off before, I painted it today, so I painted it black, so I kind of like it. It makes everything that's on top of it pop. Are you guys ready? All right. I'm going to start in the middle. Got a really, really sweet gastropod here. Got some awesome... Petrified wood. One of my favorites. This one I think has got maybe some petrified wood too. Because it almost seems like some grain in there. It looks pretty similar. I mean, I watch a lot of Montana rock collectors and it kind of looks like some of the petrified wood they find. But this is all stuff from Texas. Um, check this guy out. Beautiful, complete specimen. This one, um, I'm really excited. This one was intended to get cut and polished. So that is what will happen. Same thing with this one here. And I might even cut this one too and polish it. I don't know. I'm going to try and find a nice thin blade. I, want, I would want to try and cut it this way. Here we have that nice chunk of the coquina. I think that's how you say it, coquina, coquina. I'm not talking about narcotics. <laughs> All right. Then we've got this one. Ooh, okay. Now I'm going to have to check these ones out. <laughs> Look at my little, my little Uperlite stand there. Um... Oh, then we're going to check out, check this one out. I love it. Some other really awesome fragments. So cool. This is something one day when I get to a point where I want to try and prepare fossils. Some of these I'm going to try and, and clean up a bit. Then we've got this one, which I at first I thought was favocytes because of the tubes. But then we're going to go over and utilize this little puddle on the ground here. And check it out. I think it is a some type of rugosa. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I could definitely tell it, it was it was worked a little bit. Yes, my man Tim. Dude, we we've, we've already cracked everything, but dude, check out these Oh yeah, really awesome. Check out these Ammonites, man. I'm not even getting to the big ones yet. We're we'll get there soon. Now this one is just immaculate. I love it. All right, then we're going to get up to this big chunk. Holy moly. This guy is heavy. And if anybody is looking at these and knows what types they are, shout it out. And then next we will go to this guy. Check this one out. You can still see suture lines. You can see where it cracked some too, and you can see where the chambers have crystallized. And I'm going to pick this one up too, just so you guys can see the size. Look at that. Diane, welcome to the show. I have cracked all the geodes. But my good friend Donnie has sent me some really, really awesome things. So I'm just showing those to everybody. And check this one out. I'm going to zoom in on it a bit. You can see some suture marks here. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Post whatever you want in these comments. Let us see the awesome things that you find. Holy moly. I almost dropped them. It is so heavy. Look at that thing. And then the back side of this one is where you really see the suture marks or from the segments of the shell. I think what I showed you on the other side of suture marks, I think this is different. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. But just absolutely gorgeous. Dude, I, I'm so excited, man. I am absolutely excited and it just worked out perfectly like this is just a beautiful setup and i saved the best for last guys look at the omelite iron man red that's what my brother said my brother watched my children for me while my my, my wife and i were out of town and uh when i got home these were on the front porch and we were opening them up look at the greens in it and the yellows but he's like, dude, it's the Iron Man suit. And I'm like, holy cow, you're absolutely right. But look, you can see this is where... That's what part it was. So if anybody's curious, an Amalite, to my understanding, my very, very slim understanding of it, is Amalite is opal, opalized Ammonite shell. So some of this shell turns to opal, and that's what that is. But just so gorgeous. And like I said, guys, I'm going to have to have a chat w with Donnie, but once my YouTube channel gets to 1,000 subs, one of the pieces from this table, and one of the nicer ones is going to be going out to... Um, a lucky random winner, um, but we're, we're going to chat because I, I don't know. I, I really love all of these too. And then check it out, guys. These are all my, some of my favorites that I cracked. A lot of these have been cracked open on stream with you guys. That one has not, but that's one of my favorite. This is a geodized gastropod that you can still see the chambers in. You can see them slowly get bigger. This one here is my absolute favorite. Now I am going to get... Hold on, don't want to. The floor is a little bit messy. But I want to get this lights turned off so we can check these out with this uh, UV light here, guys. Let me turn off my flash. Oh, not turn it up. Oh, whoa. All right. That, that, that glows a little bit. 
that's the Amalite there. Okay. That's the big chunk. Yes, somebody, if they do not post it up, uh, the stream is ending very shortly. And um, I will be, I will share. Um, if you want, you can look me up by just the name. It is Geode Cracker and Collector, GCC. And oh, oh, oh man, look at that. Oh, thank you, Gabby. I appreciate that. Oh, look at the coral. Oh, that is so awesome. This one here too, guys, right now, that, that Rugosa colony, that is going to be one that I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to try and polish that one up too. I think we're going to polish up that on the next live stream of polishing. So let me get this turned around, this light back on, and we will wrap things up. Again, humongous shout out to the man right there. He is in watching right now, Donnie Martins. I believe Martins, that's how I say that last name, right? Okay. Phonetically, that's how it sounds and looks and, and should be. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I apologize. But shout out to that man because he sent all those awesome things to me. I traded him some geodes, and uh, so amazing. So amazing. Uh, like I said, I, I love doing this. Thanks so much for everybody tuning in. Uh, catch me on Monday, Monday the next cracking video. So that's only a few days away. Um, this week was a little bit different because of our mini vacation. Um, but yeah, Monday I will be back cracking some geodes one week from today. Next Thursday I will be polishing some geodes and showing you guys that high-tech diamond polishing system and setup that I have got. And like I said as well, look out for on Monday or Tuesday I'm going to have another video going up on YouTube that is going to be not a stream or anything like that. Just an instructional video on how to use a soil pipe cutter, the way that I use it to crack open geodes and stuff like that. Yeah, like Jim said, and then uh, Jim, you're about to get uh, same thing. I'm still working out the uh, the things like that. Graves Mountain, let me know. I don't know where Graves Mountain is off the top of my head, but I've got some I've got some awesome trips planned. Um, end of next month, end of March, my buddy Mike Trebuzio, who sent me all those really awesome Kentucky geodes. Uh, I'm going to be going and spending a week down in KY doing some camping with the family and we're going to go doing some geode hunting and we're going to go look for some agates. So I, I'm really excited for this. If YouTube starts to do well, and that's the main thing, guys, I don't want to do this to be famous. If my YouTube does well, my wife is more understanding for us traveling to go and collect places. That's what it is. Otherwise, she thinks it's just me wanting to go to do it for me. But if I'm sharing with everybody, then it's much easier for me to be like, hey, we're going to go to Kentucky for a week. So show some love over on, <laughs> over on YouTube. Um, links, plenty of places in the comments here. Um, yeah, awesome show tonight, guys. Five out of six geodes that we cracked from Indiana had calcite. Super, super cool. I'm going to take some really cool pictures of those and post them up tomorrow. And like I said, I will be back on Monday with the stream, everybody. Until then, just keep on cracking, guys. And if you're catching this on YouTube, and if you liked what you just saw, check out in my description here on YouTube. That link to that Facebook group is an awesome, fantastic group. You can become a part of it. All it is is a bunch of rock collectors. You can be talking with me. And all the other folks that I'm always talking to during these videos. It'll make so much more sense if you're in the, in the know-how when we're having these. So check that link out in the description of my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Share it with your friends. If you're here on Facebook, like it, comment, share it. Spread the word. The closer we can get to 1,000 subs, we get awesome, awesome giveaway. And once I hit 150, I'm still going to be doing a really cool giveaway. Until then, guys, everybody have a great night, and I will see everybody on Monday.